Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I want to get on here and talk about the book of Genesis. I want to talk about Adam and Eve when they were in the garden and how God put them in the garden in the book of Genesis, in the book of creation to cultivate it. And during their journey in the garden, they ran into the serpent. And when they ran into the serpent, the serpent tricked Eve into eating the apple. And when Eve ate the apple, her husband Adam had eaten the apple. So both of them had became consciously aware that they were naked. And when God came into the garden, Adam and Eve had hid and was trying to sow fig leaves to cover themselves up. And, and when God saw that, he asked them, who told you that you were naked? And that's when God had realized that the serpent had tricked Eve into eating the apple. And I just want to talk about how that relates back to each and every individual on the face of this earth. How God put us into the garden to cultivate the garden and the earth. And how we let people, places, and things outside of us trick us trick us into doing things that we were never meant to do or supposed to do and how we became unconsciously aware of how to cultivate the garden and when we became unconsciously aware of how to cultivate the garden, the enemy attacks us. Anything outside of us is not cultivating the garden. People, places, and things outside of us is not allowing us to be at our fullest potential to cultivate the garden. So therefore, when we became unconsciously aware of not cultivating the garden. The enemy constantly trick us and trick us and trick us and trick us out of our spot. Until we become consciously aware again of what's taking place. And the only way you can become consciously aware again of what's taking place is to be still and know that he's God. To be still so that you can hear that small, still voice speak to you. To be still so that you can become your best, the best version of yourself again. As long as we're letting things outside of us control us, we'll never become the best version of ourselves that we were meant to be here on earth. When God created us, he created us to move, be, and have our way. To manifest all of our highest desires. But because we let the enemy trick us out of our spots so many times, we lose focus on who we truly are. We lose focus on becoming the best versions of ourselves. And we start doing things that pull us away from God further and further and further and further. Until we get so far away from God that we don't know who he is. We can't hear him speak because we got a lot of noise in our ears from outside things or worldly possessions. And when that happens, we just walking around just lost and hurt and bitter, insecure, lots of worry, lots of doubt. And we can't hear him. And in order for us to hear God again, we truly have to learn to become still and surrender everything that drew us away from God. 
We have to surrender all the noise, all the outside possessions, anything outside of us. We have to surrender so that we can hear that small, still voice speak to us again. The only way that we can become successful in life is, is, is if we be still with ourselves. As long as we're going with the flow of life and not becoming still with ourselves, we'll never hear God speak to us. We'll never be successful. We'll be full of worry and doubt, and we will never know what faith is because we have so much noise in our ear. And then when that happens, we try to blame other people that's in our environment or in our circle when we can't really blame nobody but ourselves. We have to learn to become still with ourselves so that we can do what God cosmically, cosmically created us to do here on earth. And that was to cultivate the garden and to not keep letting the enemy trick us from becoming the best versions of ourselves. The enemy does not want us to win. The enemy does not want us to walk in faith. The enemy does not want us to surrender. But because when we don't surrender, when we don't win, and when we don't walk in faith, the enemy has won. The enemy has won. So I want to get up here today and tell you to cultivate the earth. Become who God created you to truly be, which is the best version of yourself, so that you can manifest everything that you want in life. And stop letting the enemy and things outside of you trick you out your spot. I just want to share that with you. I love you, YouTube, and see you later.